Hi, Scott Orland with Cinema Magazine. For all you Fifty Shades fans, the end is here. And we're going to get you some insights to it. Mr. Gray himself, Jamie Dornan. So how bittersweet is it? I mean, it's a franchise. It's been incredibly successful for you. Mm -hmm. But is there a relief that it's over and that you finally get to show everybody the last part? I think you're right. That it, it is a bitter, bittersweet thing. You know, um, it's uh, been an incredible journey, but every journey has to end. And, and um, you know, we feel that we've been on the same journey as the fans in a way with, with this, and we've been through so much, Dakota and I. And and um, it's a, it's a, it's a hard thing because like you've got to see it as just a job, and you move on to the next job. And both Dakota and I have done lots of stuff in between, and lots of stuff coming up, and. So you try to just separate it, you know, and just keep it like that's that job over. But if it's a franchise and it goes on for numerous years, it does feel different. It feels like it's something bigger and more special at times. So, um, yeah, there's a, there's a relief to sort of, for want of a better term, put it to bed. <laughs> but also, you know, um, you know, also it's sad because you know they're like family to you, these people by the end, you know, and. Uh, you know, saying goodbye to family in a way it's, it's, it's always tough you know for a lot of people they look at this there's a titillation factor obviously mm -hmm. the sexual aspect but at the core of it is really a love story it's a relationship mm -hmm. about two people who come from two different worlds yep. and somehow another find a commonality yes do you feel that sadly it gets lost you know that type of story and what other people kind of want to dwell on I think it does for the people who aren't fans of the of the books and, and the movies um, and I think that's what the fans really struggle with as well. Like, there's lots of movies that have been set in an S and M world, like you know, hundreds that haven't had anywhere near the impact that, that the Fifty Shades trilogy has. So there's obviously more to it than that. There obviously is something in this love story that people are just bound to and and feel very uh, much uh, a part of and believe and 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 you can't take that for granted. That's a powerful thing that Eric has created. You know. So um, I think the fans are very well aware that it's much more than that, but it's the people on the outside who haven't really given it enough attention or haven't bothered to sort of read it that, that, that see it as the, as the other thing. Yeah. And, you know, uh, last question for you. Obviously, Christian Grey lives in a very privileged world. Mm -hmm. Please, God, one day you'll get to there. <laughs> but what opulence does he have in his life that you are envious of? I don't think any of it. I don't like. I'm a pretty simple dude. I think uh, there's nothing, you know. I, as long as I've got like a you know, nice home and uh, <laughs> a car that works and my family are happy, I don't really sort of need it. I mean, um, all that stuff with the helicopter and like a fleet of cars and stuff. It's sort of unnecessary, I think. And uh, but you know, if you had that kind of money. You you'd probably do the same thing, I, I, you know, I'd say. So, um, you know, I'm not, it's whatever. It's um, it's it, it's fine with me, but I just don't, I, I, I've i never felt that I wanted that, I'm playing him ever. I've never felt that I would want that kind of that kind of wealth. Um, it just doesn't appeal. Well, if you ever do get it, I have a couple of credit cards that you can, if you could make a payment on, I'd be really appreciative. That Jamie Dornan, as always, thank you so much. Cheers, this is Scott Orland. Until next time.